Welcome back everyone on YouTube. I am um, just doing this quick video. I just got back from a holiday so I thought I'd do a bit of an update and put this this um, extended um, CT cable in place um, just temporarily um, and I'll just quickly show you through what I've just done. So I've connected it up there. This is actually what how much cable I've actually got left. Um, so pretty much it runs up the top across the top of the garage roof. This isn't going to show it very well um, but you can kind of get the gist of it. It comes down here, it goes all the way down through the, the side of the garage, comes out the side of the garage currently. Now eventually this is all going to be in a nice little conduit but just to, um, it's late on a Friday night and tomorrow is going to be raining so just kind of get this in place to do some testing because I don't really want to be out here in the rain tomorrow. So I've got this going down here, around to here, and then under the house. And then that goes all the way into, I'll just quickly bring it around to it. It goes all the way under the house, up into, comes up the bottom of the floor down there. Just put it, this into a, um, I need to put some shrink wrap around that cable. And then I'm going to do some conduit up the wall um, using the same stuff as I've got there. So that's going to be run from the bottom up to the switchboard. And then I've got it plugged in with all my other CT clamps just to this one here, which is this one here, which is connected to the mains coming into the switchboard as well as the hot water cylinder main part coming in. So it's around both of those. So I know this isn't the best video because it's on the phone, um, but that's just the running of the cable. Um, it's going to be put nicer later on, but I thought I'd give you a quick update on that. And um, right, so I've just turned it on. Uh, I've turned the batteries on and I've now just turned this on for the first time. And hopefully with any luck, the CT clamp will be around the correct way, which it looks like it is. Um, 300 watts so that's about what the house will be using um, I've got actually this meter here sitting here so let's just have a quick look at this so it's pulling 5 amps roughly now I didn't zero that out so it's not too much out Yeah, 4.7 amps. And the house is consuming yeah, 300 watts currently. So, that's really good. Um, if I turn the lights off here in the garage, I just wonder what will happen. Just a second. So that should drop a few. Yep, so down to 280 because the, the lights in the garage are those energy saving bulbs. So that's exactly what it should be. So currently the house is running off battery power. Or off the power wall, which is fantastic. There's obviously very little load in the house currently. Um, there's not much turned on because I've only just turned the power back on after putting that CT clamp around on the switchboard. But i um, really happy with that. So that's just a very quick test after getting back. This is done on my phone. Um, my camera is flat, so I'm charging up the camera and we'll... Um, We'll get on to some more videos and bits and pieces very shortly. So yeah, it's um, it's definitely working, and um, you've still got a whole bunch of this cable which I could shorten, um, but I need to do some tidying up of that cable in the garage anyway. So no, it's tr it's tracking with the house quite well. I can um, I don't really have an easy way to show you what the house is actually using since I'm videoing on my phone. But yeah, quick update. I'll see you guys in the next video.